The School Technology Needs Assessment, or STENA, is an online survey designed to capture a current snapshot of educational technology needs for a school. The results of this online survey will support your work to better design and evaluate the implementation of technology projects and initiatives. This may include everything from one-to-one -one laptop initiatives, bring your own device or BYOD initiatives, or tablet devices. Technology-based implementations require time, energy, personnel, and money. Once begun, they require ongoing monitoring and evaluation. Large-scale implementations that require this kind of investment should be carefully planned and monitored. As such, school leaders must consider how they'll integrate monitoring and evaluation into their overall plan. STENA offers an important first step in the data collection process since it can provide both baseline data and longitudinal data about the implementation. STENA provides information to help decision makers, policy makers, and planners make purchasing, resource allocation, professional development, school readiness, and other decisions relating to technology. The instrument collects perceptive data in other words, educators' perceptions in the following broad areas of school technology. Supportive environment for technology use, including vision, planning and budget, communication, infrastructure and staff support, professional development, including professional development needs and professional development quality, teaching and learning, referring to the use of technology by teachers and by students, and finally, the impact of technology on teachers and students. All survey questions are in the form of statements, organized into the areas mentioned previously in this video. Participants respond to each survey item, indicating the degree to which they agree or disagree based on their individual perspective. Responses can range from strongly agree to strongly disagree, and also include the options do not know, or neither agree nor disagree in situations where the response is split between agree and disagree. The STENA is designed to be completed by teachers and other educators working directly with students and should be administered to the entire staff of any school for which needs are being assessed. This might include educators like librarians who also work directly with students while using technology. It is best to ensure that everyone who works with students participates in this survey. The results are not indicative of the current status of technology integration when the number of participants in the survey is small. Standard results are not scored or reported for each individual respondent. Instead, each person's responses are combined with those of other educators in their building and reported at the school level in terms of how many times each possible response is selected for each item. The report contains frequencies, percentages, and bar charts. Your leadership team will review the report to identify items where the majority of responses are positive or negative, where responses are mixed, and where the majority are neutral. The data may raise more questions than answers, uncovering issues requiring additional discussion. To maximize the effectiveness of the STENA instrument and gather the highest quality data, the following steps are strongly suggested. First, convene a leadership team and decide what questions you hope to answer by reviewing the survey in advance. Determine when it should be administered and develop a plan for communicating the administration of the survey. Next, consider an initial presentation to all educators involved during which time you explain why everyone is participating, what the survey assesses, and how the data will be used. Once the purpose of the survey has been explained to all educators, clearly communicate the launch and close dates. It's recommended that you limit the amount of time available to respond to the survey. In other words, don't leave it open for a month. Make it clear 
that the survey should take approximately 25 minutes to complete and that everyone is required to participate. Remind educators during this period to respond to the survey. Designate someone to handle technology issues related to accessing and completing the survey. Once the survey is closed, you'll be notified with the response rate and results. Convene your leadership team to review these results and determine how well they answered your original questions. Develop your next steps in your initiative implementation and share the data with the staff of your school. Finally, if you'd like to document changes in the technology needs of your school, consider subsequent administrations of the survey to track the changing needs of your initiative. Remember, the data from the Stennis survey are descriptive, providing a snapshot of the degree of positive or negative feelings and perceptions across survey items. The areas targeted by the survey have been validated as beneficial to successful implementation of technology in teaching and learning settings. Once analyzed, the findings can be used to plan your technology program and clarify program implementation steps.